Okay, old rusty machinery fans. I'm on uh, Nelson Island at an old abandoned uh, quarry. And I'm standing right on top of the old conveyor belt and aimed right at the uh, loading hopper way down at the back there. There's some sill photos. And uh, so now I'm going to turn around and walk out on the conveyor belt to get a good view, which could possibly be one of the dumber things to do, depending on whether or not this thing stays intact or not. So I'm going to leave all the expensive glasses and still camera here. There's the view heading out to uh, the low ocean side uh, loadout. Now I'm going to wander down here or not, and you guys will be my witness in case I do the big ah, all the way to the bottom type thing. So maybe, I wonder if it's safer down there. There's the actual catwalk. Made out of steel as opposed to wandering on this rubber belt. So maybe I'm going to transfer over here in the hopes that the steel grating Ah, oh, feels better. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. This is kind of cool. So I saw this from my cousin's uh, cabin over, way over on our right there. I don't know, maybe it's a kilometer over. Harry Roberts, old place, Sunray. Harry Roberts or Roberts Creek. So I'm just going to wander out here. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to look over here. And I'm hanging on to the railing in case what I'm standing on lets go. I don't think that's going to happen, but you know, who would want to be the uh, the guy to find that one out? So I'll try and keep the camera clear. Gorgeous beach out here. I mean, this is the place to be. I'm way up off the deck. There we go. Okay, so this, I mean, this feels good and sketchy at the same time. So panning west, out that way, Jenny Bay, down below us here. The uh, cabin is way over towards that point. Uh, Texada Island. The, uh, I guess, I don't know, is that Malaspina Pass here? I'll find that out. I always put stupid things on, uh, on recording like this and then find out I'm massively wrong. Uh, Chikai Dunsmuir power line going across Texada. Uh, going, looking south, it's kind of towards the sun, but we'll give her a go. There's a nice sandy beach down here. Looks like a nice little place to hang out. Here's looking back at where I just came from. Down the path there. I'm going to go out here some more. Hopefully this stays being a good idea. Things feel okay right up until the last bad step or trip or something breaks. This stuff's not too bad. Not too bad of shape. Even all this stuff here, I mean, I, you could probably put your faith in the conveyor belt here. Goes right back into the bush. I just finished walking up on top. Hoping, hoping, hoping there'd be some machines up in the bush there, but there was nothing. There was some uh, old infrastructure. Uh, I don't know what they were. Maybe uh, old standing frameworks for crushers or something, like some large steel I-beam towers with a bit of machinery, but 100% grown in with uh, alders and whatnot. Couldn't really... I, mean, I got a couple kind of average pictures, but they weren't know really good so uh, there's nothing up, nothing up there there's no remnants of a camp there's no nothing that could get pulled out with a machine skidded or whatever the case may be there's uh, nothing left up there I was hoping for an old loader a cat uh, maybe a bit of logging equipment from when they took uh, took trees and stuff out of there back in the day, but no, none of that. This wire mesh here is getting a little sketch here, so I'm putting my boots on the side. 
hopefully the uh, supports hold up nicely. You might be getting a bit of wind noise now, so I'll see if I can turn the camera away from that. Maybe uh, the microphone won't pick it up. Oh no, so if you're getting some wind noise, sorry about that, because I know it's always irritating to try and watch a video and the wind's blowing and you're trying to hear what's going on. As we get further out here, it, uh, the wind's picking up because we're more exposed. I gotta tell you, I'm not really super thrilled about walking out on this. Not super thrilled. It's not my favorite idea. But here we are. Haven't heard any creaks and groans. Of course, maybe this is one of those operations where all you hear is the last snap. So. Right into the wind coming out of the west. Bye. Tug with uh, three barges full of chips for the mill up at uh, Powell River. They're looking back at the beach. And we're getting out to a place where I didn't think I would actually be standing a couple days ago. Hopefully uh, this whole enchilada here isn't rusted enough to the point where uh, weight of one uh, nervous walking guy is going to knock it down. There's the uh, electric motor out at the end, one of the, the dry drive uh, belt motor. It's got the power chopped to it. And you know what? i got to tell you, I'm not going to go out there. Just because. Uh, down below us here somewhere, when I first came out, there was a sea lion. All the guys down there below, but he's gone. down. Like I said, you're probably getting a whole bunch of wind right now. That's uh, looking over that way. Way far in the distance is uh, Thornby Islands, north and south Thornby. Gorgeous place. There's a nice beach in between the two there. Nice place to hang out in the summertime access to a friend with a boat that can get you over there. Gee, nice place to uh, just relax, nice and quiet. There's a bit of the breakwater down there. There's a lot of uh, big piles of granite up the top there, like up in the pool. I can actually feel this thing vibrating. I can feel it. Uh, just looking around for uh, a sea lion, but I don't see him. Yeah, I was kind of hoping for a uh, great rusty machine, but no such luck. Probably uh, part, as part of their permit process, they had to take anything out anything of the rule or anything that had uh, <laughs> There's a bouncy little section. That's well. That's really inspiring. Bunch of wind coming up now. It's probably
scrap iron business, you had access to a barge. The barge would come in, and come in and uh, cut all this stuff up and, and load her out. You drop a, a landing, self-powered landing barge or uh, a ramp barge in here. Don't think you'd want to come in on a barge over there because it's too shallow. This is probably the place it would be. Right there. And then uh, chop up this little thing and uh, sell her for uh, beer money. Now, from what I understand, just from local gossip, the uh, whoever ran this place still has the lease on it. And I think they're keeping the lease up with probably annual payments to... Uh, and that allows them to not be forced into coming and taking this thing out of here. I'm going to get back up on the conveyor belt here now. There we go. So I don't know what the uh, I don't know what the value of all this stuff is. There's uh, pilings and stuff probably have to get yanked. And uh, I mean, if you had a machine here, you could also zoom up the hill. There's already a road in place, a big circular road where you could uh, zoom up with an excavator and some cutting tools and take down the, the steel towers that had the, uh, whatever those things are, hoppers, crushers, whatever they were, and make a day out of it. So I don't know if, uh, if you need special permits to come down, you know, put some machines this close to the tidal water and chop all this stuff down. I haven't got a clue about that. I'm not going to it's not my thing, I'm not going to look into it, but if somebody was so uh, inclined, that would be the uh, things to look for. There we go, back into the bush here. I'm going to go back down onto the walkway. I don't want to use up too much battery because I've got a, another uh, cool little video to show you and uh, maybe tomorrow or something like that I'm going to go up and show you one of the most amazing things you've ever seen. It's not what I would call a feat of ingenuity, it's more of a feat of insanity. I'm not going to spoil it for you because it's, I mean truly, I've seen a lot of really, really goofy things in my life. This is bordering on, yeah, insane on what somebody did. So, we'll leave you to it. There's the intake up there. There's the road uh, heading down towards the beach. So when you uh, come in here with your scrap iron recovery operation, you just roll up the road here. There's a big flat field up on top. Gorgeous place to uh, put your trailer while you're here and uh, go to town on it. So anyway, that's it for that little video. I know it was the most exciting one in the world, but uh, it was something. So uh, from Nelson Island, we will see you all in a day or two. Bye for now.